Hello! In this episode, I wanted to show you how to do 3D nail art. I'm not sure if you've seen it out there already, but they're like the ones that stick out of your nails and they're really fun. So I saw this at the store the other day. That's what gave me the idea to make this video. Um, it's really fun. So just in time for Valentine's Day, these might be fun for something like that. Um, I found these ones. These ones are like a pearly bow. I love bows. So um, they usually come in a small package like this. It won't be very much. Um, in quantity because you don't have to put it on every nail right I'll show you how to put it on one nail and what are the and products you need to do it with and this order of steps so you want to make sure your hands are manicured um, and you have whatever you want on your base because then once you put these on you can't really change or adjust anything so um, in another video I will show you how to do the perfect salon manicure at home it's super simple um, all you have to do is uh, pretty much you make sure you have a base coat on. I have red nails on right now, so if you're doing a red or a dark color, you want to make sure you have a base coat on. So that is not a myth. That is absolutely true. Have your base coat on, do two coats of your color of choice, and then do your top coat. My new favorite top coat is actually the CND Vinyl Lux. It lasts so long and without chipping because with my job with doing makeup and skincare things all day I wash my hands like 50 times a day and I find manicures really last less than one day on me but with this one it can last up to a week so it really is amazing and when you soak it off you don't need acetone that's the best of all too so um, super quick dry finish so now that you have all those on which I do we're gonna start with applying these little stones so these little stones are bigger than the little rhinestones, traditional rhinestones. Um, on the back, as you can see, um, it's curved, so it's going to fit on your nail nicely. That's how they work. Um, this thing is actually what I use to do people's eyelash extensions. However, I've seen these on cooking shows, so people also um, get these for decorating cakes. Um, so you can get these either from your beauty supply store or your baking store. So these are in both. Uh, you'll need a toothpick and also a gel bond glue. This one is from CND. There's only a few brands that make this gel bond glue in a good quality that's also not damaging and isn't offensive with odors. Um, this one is a really good one. It dries really quickly, so when you use it, you wanna be careful. Also, when you're done using it, you wanna make sure the cap's screwed on really tightly so that you don't um, waste your product. You will have to um, poke a little um, hole in there to begin with just to make sure the product gets going like you know right in there because it is sealed up um, and then now you have this little point here toothpicks for just in case you need so you want to um, get your tweezers here special tweezers in a way that you know you can position your 3d nail art on your nail properly so when you're applying the glue, you want to make sure that you don't get it all over the backing of your 3D nail art. Just because if you did get the glue all over, when you press it down, it's going to ooze out the sides. So you just want to do like a really thin layer right in the middle and very carefully. Yeah, I guess this is something similar to like crazy glue, but I just want to make sure to get it started first before it comes out my first time using this one too so it might take a little bit for it to come out. Ah, it's not coming out. Why isn't it coming out? Oops. I don't know why it's not coming out. It's okay, I'll just take the toothpick in the meantime and just apply it with the toothpick. It's super sticky, so just um, be careful. It doesn't get on your other stuff. And if it gets onto your tweezers, just make sure um, you take it off with an acetone-based nail polish remover. Yeah, that gets it off really quickly and easily. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more because now I can gauge how the glue works and how thick it's going to be. Yeah, once you get started, they're all quite similar. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to put it on my ring finger. So we're just going to drop it down. Hopefully it drops all right. Yep, yeah, it 
drops pretty well. Position it where you want it to be, and then just let it dry. So it takes about two minutes to dry, and just wipe away the glue from the tip of your applicator, and just seal it back up. So that way, it'll be ready to go for your next nail when you're at it. Yeah, air is a big factor with this. You wanna make sure it's tightly closed so it stays fresh. And then that's it. There's your 3D nail art. So for being creative, um, you can also make designs on your other ones if you want, but I'm okay. I'm not gonna be too crazy today. I'm just gonna leave oops, that on to show you. And um, I'm gonna let it dry. Pretty simple and fun, huh? So at your local nail stores, you can find these um, um, stones from, um, or even like art stores. You might be able to find some cool stuff at art stores. So let's be creative. Send me some pictures on Twitter and show me what you come up with. I'm really excited to see. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. See you soon.